Yes, yes. You know, the problem you have is that too often you're comparing yourself. Whether it's consciously or subconsciously, you compare yourself to others and that's really stopping you or getting in the way of you really being as great as you could be in whatever it is that you do. For me, I feel like the way to be able to fix that is to just really know who you are. Once you really know who you are, it'll be easier for you not to compare yourself to others. And I know I talk about this a lot. I talk about self-awareness so much. But the reason I do is because I just feel like it's so important. Like it should be the main thing that we prioritize is self-awareness, knowing who we are. Once you start to know who you are, you won't compare yourself as much. And listen, it might not be your fault. Comparing has been going on in your life since you were a kid. Like when you were a kid, your parents may or may not have compared you to to, to your own siblings, right? They'll say, oh, well, your brother knows how to do this or your sister knows how to do that better than you or not as good as you or whatever it is, right? So it started there at home, you know? And then you went to school, you played sports and, and, and in playing sports, they compared you to other players in the team or in other teams, right? Or when you did work and your grades weren't as good as the other ones, they would compare your grades to the other ones and say, well, you know, so-and-so did this good or this well or whatever it is, right? So comparing has been in your life for a long time. And so as we grow up, it's almost like a natural for us to compare ourselves, right? And like I said, some of it has happened consciously and some of it has happened subconsciously, right? We walk in and, and we, we don't mean to, but mentally we start to compare ourselves, right? We, we walk into a specific event or to our job. We look around and we see other people, whether it's, whether it's comparing what, what they're wearing against what you're wearing and saying, oh man, look at how good it looks on them. Or comparing work, or look at how good he does. I, I can't do as good as he does, right? And and when it comes to comparing, there's upward and there's, there's downward, right? So sometimes we compare upward, right? To where we look at someone and we're like, oh man, he's so good at what he does or she, she does that so well. I, I couldn't possibly be as good as he or she is. Or it's downward when we're like, we look at people and we automatically assume we're better than them, you know? So we compare ourselves as soon as we walk into an event, you know? Or even before we get there, we're like, oh my God, I, I gotta go speak at this event. I wonder if the other speakers are gonna be better than me. I wonder if they're gonna be able to, I wonder if I'm gonna be able to, to capture the crowd as well as them, you know? And so we suck ourselves out and, and we give, it, it's almost like we give ourselves no chance to win or to be good at anything because we compare ourselves. And so and so with this, this video, my message to you is stop comparing yourself. Stop comparing yourself to others. Worry about yourself. Worry about how good you are. Worry about what you want to do. And I know, I know it's not easy, but we have to stop that because until you until you really start to stop comparing yourself to others, you're not going to reach the potential that you should be reaching. Everybody has potential in whatever it is that they do, but you're not going to reach it until you stop comparing yourself. And so I want to give you three tips so that you can stop comparing yourself or that, that hopefully will help you stop comparing yourself to others. The first tip is know who you are. Again, self-awareness. Know who you are fully. Understand who you are. Know your strengths and your weaknesses. Once you know your strengths and your weaknesses, you know what you're good at, you know what you're not. So so when you go into an event, when you go into to work, when you go to do whatever it is that you're gonna do, you already know what you're good at. And you're, you're gonna keep working on whatever you're good at and you're gonna get better at it. And so when you walk in, you, you know yourself, you know how good you are at certain things, so you won't compare yourself because you already know what you bring to the table. Whether it's more or less than anybody else, it would, it's not gonna matter because you're gonna bring what you bring to the table. And that's all people want. People want what you could bring to the table. And so when you go in there, don't suck yourself out. You already know who you are. You know your strengths and your weaknesses. You, you're going to double down on, on your strength and, you, and you're going to do a lot better. So the, my, my first thing, my, my first t uh, tip is to know yourself. My second tip to you is to know what it's going to take for you to be successful. Like know that. Know what success and happiness means to you. Once you know that, build, build your strategy as to how you're going to get there. Once you know what success and happiness is to you and you're on the road to success and happiness to you, you're not going to worry about what other people are doing or are not doing. It doesn't matter. Your road to success is different than theirs. And so you're going to do what you have to do. It doesn't matter if, if someone is moving faster than you or not. It, that doesn't matter. This is about you. This is your life. Okay? So number one, self-awareness. Number two, understand what it's going to take for you to be successful. And number three is you have to turn off the noise. Guys, I talk about this all the time. You have to turn off the noise. Whether it's cheering or booing. Whether somebody is, is, is praising you. Or, or talking negativity of you, you have to turn it off and just do you. You can't worry about that. that that's time wasted. That's time wasted that, that could be put into you and, and your success. So you have to turn off the noise. Now, I'm not saying to, to go out there and, 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 and to act like everything is great when everything may not be great, right? I'm not saying that. But I'm, and I'm not saying to, to dismiss people who are cheering for you. I'm not saying that either. What I'm saying is that they, have, they both have to be equal. People who cheer for you and who are happy for you, good. And the people who are not, good too. And also understand something. Those people who are not cheering for you, those people who are born for you, you might want to kind of look into that as well. Because some of the stuff they're saying about you may or may not be true. Think about this. 
a lot of people who will cheer for you are the people who are close to you, your friends, your family members, right? And so they're gonna tell you what you wanna hear sometimes. And so some of those cheers may not be as truthful as, as, as you may think that they are. And so think about that. But also think about the fact that the people who are, who are uh, hating on you or talking negatively on you are probably really focused into what you're doing because they're so busy, you know, being negative that they're focused a lot into what you're doing and they might see things that you are not seeing. And so those negative people, you might want to look into what they're saying because they may or may not have a point. Maybe they don't, but maybe they do. Maybe you could work on that. So that, may, that might be constructive criticism that you could take into, into account when you make your next move. So again, guys, self-awareness. Know who you are. Know what it's going to take for you to be successful and turn the noise off. And please, stop comparing yourself. You're a lot better than that, guys. Guys, take it easy and don't forget, be transcendent.